Matt and Christina have been on and off for the past five and a half years and have a five-year-old daughter together. But during one of their breaks, Christina had another child. And even though a different man's name is on the birth certificate, Matt believes he's the father. And there's more. Matt is now being accused of molesting that same little girl. Take a look. I need to know if my ex-boyfriend Matt is touching my two-year-old daughter. Matt and I have been on and off for five years. In the beginning, it was good. We got along, we had fun. We had a child together. We were broken up when I got pregnant with our other child. I was with somebody else at the same time. I feel like he's touching her because he doesn't believe that it is his daughter. We did a home DNA test, came back he was the father. He still doesn't believe it. I don't understand why, but we're going to prove that. My daughter came to someone and told her that she's being touched by Matt, that Matt is touching her private parts. And then that person came to me because she wanted to let me know what our daughter said. I first had a feeling that something was wrong with Matt when was little. He used to walk down the hallway and peek in the bathroom or in the bedroom when I was changing her or always constantly wanted to give her a bath. He didn't want to do like feed her, give her a bottle, do it, any of the other parenting stuff. It was the stuff where he had to take off her clothes. That was weird to me. If he wanted to do the other stuff, I wouldn't have thought twice about it. Yeah, he looked creepy about it. That's when me and him would get in arguments. That's when he called me crazy because I said, you're never gonna see our daughter naked. Now I'm currently living with Matt. We're not together. We're just living under the same house. I'm afraid to go to work and leave our children with him, not knowing if he's touching them or not. I feel like I'm, if it is happening, I'm a failure. I feel like that I failed to protect my children. I just need to know if it's actually happening because if it is, I'm out of there and he's going straight to jail. She thinks you're a molester. That's full of, she's full of crap, Steve. I can tell you right now, this is the type of person I am, man. I bust my ass every day, day in and day out. I come home, I, I love my kids to death. They love me. My kids come running to me every day when I get home, saying, Daddy, Daddy, I, I love you. Come to give me a big hug and kiss. I know for a fact that the other one, that the youngest one, my youngest daughter, is mine because we did a home DNA test. Right. And, and it came back that it was mine. What's your relationship with Christina like? Right now, I mean, I'll be, I, she, she's homeless right now. She's staying at my home. Every six months, she's, home, she's scrounging around trying to find a new place to live. Her and my kids both stay with me. I make sure my kids have food. I and make you and sure Christina that, sleep in the same bed? Yes. If, do you, Steve, let me, let me ask you this. Do you really, if she really thought that I did this, why is it I have my kids every weekend myself? Every time she wants to go out and get drunk when she gets paid, I'm the one that has my kids. Did she go to the police? Hell no. She didn't go to the she police? She didn't go to no police, no protective services, nothing. Straight to you guys. This, this woman, I did the math when she told me she got pregnant. I know when I slept with her last, oh. before that. This woman was... When's the last time you slept with her now? Honestly, last night at the hotel. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> and my point is asking that if she really believes that you're a child molester, why is she sleeping with that? That's what I want to know. So let's ask her. Here's Christina. Listen, I never cut like that. I would never, ever touch any of my kids inappropriately. You're living with him. Mm -hmm. In my home. You're sleeping in the same bed. Mm -hmm. You had sex with him last night. Mm -hmm. So do you really believe that he molested your daughter? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think he molested your daughter? Because ever since he started being in her life, she has peeing on herself again. She has told this other person that he has touched her. Have you I've right now? asked her. And what did she, she say to you? She doesn't say anything to me. Why not? You're her mother. She plays with her Barbies every time I ask her. But you're, like, you know, when you tell me that you had sex with him last night, how serious can I take the allegation that he might have molested his daughter? <laughs> and the results are, Matt, you are the father, Christina. We asked Matt, did you ever have physical contact 
with your daughter for your own sexual gratification or pleasure? He answered no. Matt told the truth. I told you, them people ain't your friends. I've been told you that. Them people are not your friends. They're out to try to get our kids taken away from you. I'm the one that's been there. I don't care what our relationship is. I don't care if I'm in no a relationship. I don't care if I'm in another relationship later on down the road. And if I get married, if you or my kids need anything, you know damn well I'll be there for you. And and I I'd like to say this. I know Stanford, Connecticut's a nice, nice little city. And I call it home now for the past nine years. But I don't know if I would make up and lie about a story to get a free vacation there. <laughs> which I think you did. I think that somebody is full of <laughs> when, <laughs> when they have sexual relations with a man that they're accusing of child molestation. I, gotta agree. I think it's have a nice life. You can get off my stage. If you like what you see, all new episodes are coming and you do not want to miss out. Click subscribe now.